Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to talk about 25 things you must do after installing Ubuntu 23.04 Luna Lobster. Myself, Mohammed Zubair, and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Number 1. Update Whenever we install a new operating system, some updates must be done to get the best performance. Same goes for Ubuntu. We will update the system and to do so, I will use simple command in my terminal as sudo apt update. After that, I'll use sudo apt upgrade. Number 2. Multimedia Codecs While multimedia codecs are essential for some audio video file formats and many other operations in a Linux distribution. In this Linux distribution, we get a lot of them by default, but still some do not get shipped with this Linux distribution. So we need to install them manually. To install the multimedia codecs, use the command I'll use in my terminal. sudo apt install ubuntu-restricted-extra Number 3. Install htop htop is a system monitoring tool for Linux that provides a real-time overview of system resources such as CPU usage, memory usage, and process information. The command to install htop is sudo apt install htop. Number 4. Install neofetch Neofetch is a command line utility used in Linux system to retrieve and display system information in a visually appealing way. It gathers details such as the operating system, kernel version, CPU, memory, and other hardware specifications. To install this one, use the command as sudo apt install neofetch. Number 5. Install Vim. While Vim is a highly popular and powerful text editor designed for use in Unix like operating system, it stands for VI Improve and it is an enhanced version of original VI text editor. It offers a wide range of features and functionalities that makes it effective for editing and manipulating text files, programming code, and even configuring system files. Number 6. Choose the closest mirror While well, as Linux distribution use the selected mirror to download different software application packages and libraries for the system, but sometimes the default mirror is not the optimal one, and because of that the system takes more time to download and install software, packages, libraries, etc. into the system. We can change our mirror in Ubuntu as well. For that purpose, first of all, let's open mirror in our system, and the command for that is sudo nano slash edc slash apt slash sources dot list. Now, get to the bottom of this file and add these two sources that I'm going to put in this one, and I'll put these in the description of this video as well. Now, get out of this file, and we are good to go. Number 7. Install Synaptic Manager with the help of apt command, we can install packages from the terminal. On the other hand, we have a synaptic package manager that is a GUI interface and with the help of it, we can install up to 7000 packages in our dip in Linux. To install this one, use the command as sudo apt install y synaptic. Number 8. Install Firewall even though the Linux distributions are safer than the Windows operating system, but still we should install and have a firewall for more security. So the command to install a firewall is sudo apt install fufw and now we need to enable this. Command for that is sudo ufw enable. Now we are done with this one and now let's move on to the next one. Number 9. Boost your system performance While well, preload is an adaptive redhead daemon that prefetches files mapped by applications from the disk to reduce the application startup time, so it will also increase the performance. Command to install this one is sudo apt install preload. Number 10. Flutter While well, Flutter is an open source UI software development kit or you can say IDE or a platform that is created by Google. You can use this tool to develop cross-platform applications from a single code base for any of your Android, iOS, Linux, Mac OS, Windows based operating system. It was launched in 2015. Well, the good news is you do not have to use any command to install this one. Just open the software center of your Ubuntu 23 and just search for Flutter in it and you are good to go. So here you see here we have Flutter Gallery, Flutter as well. So just click on Flutter and after that click on install button. Here it will ask you to give your password, again hit enter and now it will start the download and installation process as you can see. And now let's move on to the next one. Number 11. Install Java Java is a powerful language and for many programming environments in your Linux distributions, you need that. For example, if you are working on some of the Python projects, you might need to have Java installed in your system. So the command to install Java is sudo apt install default-jdk. Number 12. Install ifconfig and nettools package. 
Other than the IF config, NetTools also offers Linux networking tools such as IP tunnels, NetStat, DIG, etc. So, if your usage include Linux networking, installing the NetTool is something you definitely want to do after installing your Ubuntu. Command for that is sudo apt install net-tools-y. Number 13. Install Timeshift For those who do not know what Timeshift is, basically it's a recovery tool. With the help of this tool, you can have the backup of your system by creating a point. When your system runs into some problem, you can go back to the point you created and mostly for experiment purposes, Timeshift is a very good tool. Command for that is sudo apt install space Timeshift. Number 14. Install Dropbox well, we all want to keep our data safe and have a backup. So for that purpose, we have a different online repositories that we can use. Dropbox is one of them. We can use it online to save our data and we can also use it on the desktop directly to place our data in its folder. The command to install Dropbox is sudo apt install nautilus-dropbox. Number 15. Set up online account. It is very simple. Just search for online account in your system and set up your online accounts as per your liking. Number 16. Increase internet speed. Well, when you open anything in your browser, it takes a little bit of time before the actual website loads up. It also depends on the DNS server your internet provider is using. So to improve this, click on the internet from top right corner, go to IPv4 section, then disable your DNS and then add the DNS as 8.8.8.8, 8.8.4.4. .8 .8 .8 .8 .8 .8 Basically, we have added two DNS in here. Number 17, default application. Well, in case if you have more than one application for one type of work, you should make some of the applications as default. For example, if you have installed the VLC media player, you can make it default for the audio and video files. To do so, just open your default application settings and have your default applications for your task. Number 18, startup application. Well, just search for startup application in your Ubuntu and then have your startup applications that you want to start at the boot up of your time. Number 19. Install GIMP Well, GIMP is a small but compelling image manipulation software. We can use this tool to edit our images and pictures. So I'm sure that you will want this tool in your collection of programs. To install this one, use the command as sudo apt install GIMP. Number 20. Remove a port Many of you might have noticed some rectangular pop-up windows shows up every now and then telling there is a crash report and ask us to send the report. Well, I find this very annoying as this window shows up even when there is no crash. Well, we can simply remove it by running the following command in the terminal. Command is sudo apt remove apport space apport hyphen gtk. Number 21. System cleanup. For the smooth functioning of the system, keeping it clean from junk files and unwanted cache is necessary. You can do that by using the following commands sudo apt hyphen get space auto clean and in order to remove unused dependencies use the command as sudo apt get space auto remove and in order to clean up the apt cache use the command as sudo apt hyphen get space clean number 22 install dlp we know that linux distribution consume a little bit more power to make sure that our system uses the optimal resources in terms of power we should install tlp in our system to install TLP, we need to write a command in terminal, which is sudo apt install space TLP space TLP hyphen rtw. And now we need to enable it. Command for that is sudo space system ctl space enable space TLP. Number 23. Install Play on Linux. Play on Linux is a graphical front end to Vine which lets us to play Windows based video games and Windows software such as Microsoft Office, Media Player, etc. on Linux. Even though it is based on Vine, you will find it very easy to use as it has graphical user interface which makes it very simple and easy. You can install it easily either from Ubuntu Software Center or by running the following command in terminal which is sudo apt hyphen get space install space play on Linux. Number 24. Install Genome Tweaks. Well, it's a simple graphical interface for advanced Genome 3 settings. It enables us to easily customize our desktop. Although it is designed for Genome Shell, we can use it in our desktops as well. Command for that is sudo apt install space genome hyphen tweaks. Number 25 VLC. As we all know that VLC is a renowned multimedia player, so it is always a good idea to install it in our new Ubuntu release. To install VLC, use the command as sudo apt install VLC. And that was all about this particular video. I hope now that you must have liked watching this one. If that is the case, do leave a like, subscribe and press the bell icon. I'll get back to you in the next video. Till then, take care.